Hey guys, it's Will from Learnerator, and in this edition of AP Micro Mondays, we're going to review per unit taxes and per unit subsidies. So the main thing to keep in mind when you're dealing with anything per unit is that the producer is going to be taxed on everything, or taxed or subsidized on every single unit they make. That's why it's called per unit. And what that means is that there's going to be a change in the marginal cost curve. So let's go over the two scenarios in which we have either a per unit tax or a per unit subsidy. So first, let's highlight the situation in which we have a tax. Well, in this situation, what's going to happen is every single time you produce a unit, there's going to be an additional tax on the unit. And therefore, the cost of production goes up and your marginal cost will go up. And what that means is that if your marginal cost is going up, then you're going to decrease your quantity produced. And that just makes sense because it's your classic you know, producer's dilemma in which if their cost of production goes up, their quantity that they supply goes down. So let's actually graph this out and show why this happens so that you can better conceptualize this. So we have our standard demand curve, and we have, of course, price on the y, quantity on the x. We have a marginal revenue curve that is twice the slope of the demand curve. And we may have a marginal cost curve here. However, we have this new tax that adds an additional cost to our cost of production. And so just to make it very clear, I'm going to change the color here. So this may be marginal cost too. And what we want to look at is this is a situation of a, of a monopolist. So they're going to be setting marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. So the original monopolist price was here. However, the new one is here. And so what we can observe here is that we had a Q1 here, we had a P1 here, we have a P2 here, and we have a Q2 here. So if we just observe this shift, this is a leftward shift and an upward shift. And what we've seen here essentially is that quantity goes down and price goes up. So this is what the outcome is when you're dealing with a per unit tax. Now let's look at the scenario in which we have a per unit subsidy. So what this means is that the government or some other organization is helping the producer out by, produce, by lowering their cost of production. And therefore, in this case, the government or whatever organization is providing the subsidy is paying the firm to produce more. And therefore, the firm experiences the opposite effect in which marginal cost is now going down, quantity goes up. And so what we want to think about is, again, the standard graph and the influence on the standard graph. And so we have this downward sloping demand, twice that for marginal revenue. And then we have our original marginal cost curve. And what we know is that this marginal cost curve is going to go down. And then what we can do is we can do the same thing we did from the last one. Marginal cost equal, equals re marginal revenue here. And so we would set the price up here. And then marginal revenue equals marginal cost here. Therefore, we set the price here. So what you can tell is that in the first situation, we had price here, now it's gone down. We had quantity here, and now it's gone out. And therefore, we have an outward shift as well as a downward shift. And so the conclusion here is that we now experience a decrease in price, however, an increase in the quantity produced. And so this makes sense in terms of a policy side, because if we think about why a government would be taxing people or taxing producers, the goal is to you know, get more revenue for the government. But in this case, the way that the producer would react is by reducing their production because their cost of production has gone up. On the contrary to that, if the government is trying to increase output, then they would want to decrease the cost of production for the firm. And therefore, they do so. And the firm, as a result, can afford to lower their price and also produce a higher quantity. 
So that pretty much covers it in terms of per unit taxes and subsidies. In another week, we're gonna cover the actual lump sum taxes and subsidies. So it's slightly different than the per unit. However, the per unit taxes and subsidies concept is really important for the AP Micro exam. So make sure you practice up on these. It's not too difficult. However, once you get it down, um, you'll be feeling really confident about this section of the test.